our next speaker, which is Maggie. Maggie is a senior software engineer on the sales and the support team at Opendoor. Maggie has been uh, a part of a wide range of projects at, at Opendoor. And recently, she co-designed and is currently implementing a new uh, role-based access control system for the company internal tooling. Outside of work, Maggie is a competitive swing dancer. Welcome, Maggie. Thank you, Amy. Hi, I'm Maggie, and I'm going to talk about role-based access control at Opendoor. In this talk, I'll go over what role-based access control is generally, what the design goals were for Opendoor's RBAC system, technical design of our RBAC system, and some challenges and recommendations from our experience. If you aren't familiar with the term role-based access control, I can almost guarantee you are familiar with the concept. At a high level, in an RBAC system, what a user can and cannot access is based on their assigned role. There are three main data entities, users, roles, and permissions. Let's take GitHub as an example. Hey, I, Matt, real quick, can you share your slides? I don't think we see them. Oh. You know, it just goes to show no all the preparation in the world. Perfect. Let's take GitHub as an example. Can you guys see my slides now? Yes. Excellent, thank you. Um, GitHub, uh, I am part of the backend infra team, which means that my role is an administrator on the web repo, which means that I can access admin features like merging pull requests with all, without all of the, chest, the checks passing. For Opendoor's role-based access control system, we had some very specific design goals. As a result of going public in 2020, we needed to comply with the Financial Operations Act, widely known as SOX. SOX compliance can mean different things for different companies, but the most pertinent part of SOX compliance for Opendoor was showing that only authorized employees were allowed to perform financially sensitive actions. Other goals for the system included easy use and maintenance for engineers, straightforward management for IT, and peace of mind for security. Security was a bigger concern than usual for our new RBAC system because we would be trusting the system with protecting financially sensitive actions from both internal and external users. We wanted employees to follow a clear process to change role and, and permission assignments. In our design, we assign roles to users in Okta, an industry standard authentication and authorization tool, bringing a lot of advantages for security and IT. We already have moved towards using Okta for authentication for our internal tooling and this change felt like a natural extension of prior work. We store our permission to role mapping in a separate service config, which means that changes were handled through GitHub. It also means that for every API call, we call our role to permission service gatekeeper to check the user's roles. API endpoints are tied with permissions directly in the code, which is easy for engineers to implement and maintain. And once we get the user's roles from gatekeeper, we check whether they match the permissions for that API endpoint. Our biggest challenge for this project were encountered in the, in the design phase. We had a big challenge understanding what SOX compliance would mean for Opendoor and what actions we should take to limit access first. Like many companies, Opendoor has a few different deployment environments for our internal tooling. And one of our biggest questions was whether we could limit our RBAC gating to one of these deployment environments. After further exploration, we discovered that that was not the case and this significantly changed our design requirements. Additionally, this project stress tested how major engineering design decisions are made at Opendoor. Getting alignment on the critical design decisions was especially difficult given the lack of clarity on the scope of the project. If you happen to find yourself in a similar situation in the future, we recommend that you clarify and align on your RBAC project goals before you start the design process. We also recommend involving cross-team stakeholders early in the project and communicating to engineering management early and often if the project needs more resources. Thanks. <laughs>